I'm yellow again. Now I'm regular. I just came back from work. Um, look, these are how all my pants look. People think I'm dirty when I'm walking in the street most likely, but it's not dirt, it's just ink from doing tattoos all day. Um, I'm in a really kind of awesome mood because I was reading this book called A Certain Slant of Light by Laura Whitcomb. And it's a freaking awesome book that you should probably look into if you like really eerie love dead story. Love, dead love stories. That's the words. Um, it's about a lady who's like haunting this. She's, she's dead and she's a spirit and she knows she's dead and she finds these hosts to like basically lurk around and just like she knows she can't touch them she can't interact with them but she just like you know gets this attachment to them and she follows them around and just watches their everyday life and gets attached to them and now she found this guy who is an actual spirit like her except he found a, a body a host body to save and he took the body and now they're falling in love because they can talk to each other and he's a real human being but he can see her because he's really a ghost inside of a human's body it's a really weird eerie kind of story but it's awesome like like it it just makes you look at the love story and be like wow this is really eerie and creepy but it's so cute how ghosts are falling in love inside human beings bodies because they overdosed on pills I'm not making any sense so I'm gonna stop talking um but yeah no it put me in a mood and it was like I don't know it was a it was a nice mood to just be like books I've been really like in a funk lately just because I felt like I don't know I felt like I was stuck I don't know how how that makes any sense but I feel like I was stuck and like I didn't have any any escape and it's like doing art it's fun it's cool I love it but sometimes it's like I need some kind of other outlet and uh, reading is one of them like I haven't been reading a lot and I, st I picked up this book again my mother is coming and it's gonna kill me girl Brett. What, mother? Beth. Oh, how cute. It's a Is turtleneck. It yeah, totally. I know, I like it. I'm gonna give you some dress pants. Cool. Mama, cute. Mama, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Brittany. Please Anyways, um,. So, I picked up this book. I have a million books, right? I went on a binge one summer and I bought a million books from Amazon for like $3, $5, $2, $0.99. So, I picked up this book again and it, like the first time I read it, I didn't really grasp it. Because I'm like, what the fuck? This is a weird love story. But now it's like, now that I'm older, it's like, oh my god, this is such a fucking awesome book. And it just made me feel really happy. And me and JD's anniversary is coming up on the 1st. And I'm excited to have a one-year anniversary. I've never had a one-year anniversary just because I was never the type. But yeah, now I'm the type. Fun. My mother is so annoying. I'll find something. She's killing me. She's doing a Stefan from all my old videos when he's to come and interrupt them. But yeah, like, have you ever read a book that just put everything in your life into perspective and just made you feel like, wow this is awesome I don't know it put me into one of those moods and now I'm just really happy and I'm gleeful and it's like oh all these cute little lovey things she's doing with him and, and I'm glad that I have my own to do that with and yeah Thanksgiving was good I'm still eating the food from it it's been like four days pretty sweet I love ham but I hate ham I love ham but I hate ham like I can only eat ham when it's doused in Pepsi yeah we put Pepsi in our ham anyways I'm sitting weird you probably don't even understand what's happening right now yeah. that's my butt I went to the Unimax the Unimax the supply store to get more gauges but the bitch was like, oh, you can't go in. And I'm like, fuck you. And I went to Burger King and got some Burger King fish with cheese. And then I went back to work and I left work. Because I'm not supposed to work today, but I went for a customer because he wanted me to 
come in because he didn't want he needed a tattoo. So I went because I'm awesome. And then he, he um, invited me to this smoking session that he's having right now. He said he's buying a whole shitload of kush and he wanted me to smoke with him. And I was like, nah. I'm gonna not because I have to do homework tonight. So yeah, I should be doing homework right now, but I'm not. I'm procrastinating. I'm bad at doing stuff when it's supposed to be done. You probably can't hear me over my goddamn music because it's so fucking loud. But anyways, I should get to doing my homework. And stuff. But thank you guys for watching and listening to my ramblings of nothingness. Oh, and I've just recently gotten back into, like, music. Like, I don't know how, how you get off of music and you get off of reading books. It just makes me a really sad person. So I got back on everything and now I'm discovering all this old music that I loved and discovering new music that I fucking love even more and finding all these books that I want to read and I need to slow down a little bit because I'm moving too fast sometimes even for myself. And I know that. You just gotta keep up with me. I'm a fucking bullet. <laughs>